Hey Jacob Tan here with another question bank question from topic 4.1. We're looking at the relationships between properties of simple harmonic motion, specifically displacement and acceleration in this case. We have a, a graph that shows the variation with time t of the displacement x of a particle undergoing simple harmonic motion. And we see that the particle starts up high, falls low, goes up high again, falls low again. It's, it's oscillating over time. The question asks, which graph correctly shows the variation with time t of the acceleration of the particle? So which one of these accelerations is correct, given this graph of position? We have to recognize the relationship between the acceleration and position of a particle undergoing simple harmonic motion, and that is that the acceleration is proportional to the opposite of displacement, negative displacement. What that means is that we can expect the acceleration to be high when the displacement is high, zero when the displacement is zero, low, extreme in the other direction when the displacement is in extremes. But because it's opposite, when the displacement is positive, the acceleration is going to be negative. And when the displacement is negative, the acceleration is going to be positive. It works in the sense that we need a restoring force. So if we have a spring and mass system and we pull it down from its equilibrium position, the displacement is down, but the acceleration is actually up. Similarly, if it bounces up and it's above its dis its uh, equilibrium position, then the acceleration of the particle is down. So acceleration is opposite to displacement. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a graph of acceleration that's extreme when the displacement is extreme, but opposite. So when we have a maximum, a positive maximum for displacement, we want a negative maximum for acceleration. When we have a negative maximum for displacement, we want a positive maximum for acceleration. And when displacement is zero, we want acceleration to be zero. So we want something that's going to look like this, more or less. That's B. When we look at the choices, we should start at a negative maximum start at a negative maximum. That's the only one that does that. So B must be the correct answer.